Off the top at six, just released surveillance video shows the BSO response to the school massacre in Parkland. The video comes from security cameras outside Stoneman Douglas High School on the day the gunman killed 17 people. Here's CBS 4's Kerry Codd. The hope was that after viewing these surveillance video clips from the campus of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School that we would get a better feel for whether any officers failed to enter the freshman building the day of the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and ultimately how they reacted when they got on campus, both BSO deputies and Coral Springs police. But because of the vantage point of the cameras, because there are no cameras that we saw from the freshman building, the exterior of it, it's very difficult to answer those questions. The shooting began at 2.21 p.m. on February 14th at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. At 2.25 p.m., you see students emerge from a building on campus racing to safety. At 2.31 p.m., from a distance, we see a number of people running from the parking lot towards the school. From this vantage point, it's impossible to say who they are. At 2.32 p.m., we see three officers running towards the building with guns drawn. In BSO's timeline, those appear to be Coral Springs officers. Three minutes later, at 2.35 p.m., a golf cart carrying a victim is seen on surveillance camera. BSO says a Coral Springs officer and a BSO deputy are transporting a victim. At about the same time, a campus camera shows more than half a dozen officers, unknown which agency they're from, arriving at the school. At 2.41 p.m., four officers, at least one of which is BSO, are seen with guns drawn walking up a hallway and remaining there for a time. It's not clear why they stayed at this location and for how long. Finally, 10 minutes later, about 2.51 p.m., a group of BSO officers in tactical gear, possibly the BSO SWAT team, approached the freshman building. Throughout the chaos, video shows BSO school resource officer Scott Peterson remaining in a position a short distance away from the freshman building, ordering officers at one point to remain 500 feet away from the freshman building. Meanwhile, inside and outside the building, 17 students, teachers, and staff lost their lives. And because there were no cameras provided to us from the exterior of the freshman building, you do not see Nicholas Cruz enter the building or exit the building. You also don't specifically see officers approaching that building or going inside. And we can tell you that based on BSO's timeline, Cruz left the school around 2.27, 2.28 p.m., about six or seven minutes after the shooting. And the first officers arrived on campus, other than the school resource officer, at about 2.31 or 2.32 p.m., several minutes after the shooting had concluded. At BSO, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.